Chart imitates life. This is a good one. President Obama wasn't even finished with the State of the Union last night when a new talking point tore across Republican social media. Edicts, decrees, dictates. We will not hail to this usurping thief. Performance artist and Congressman Steve Stockman of Texas says he walked out of the State of the Union last night, explaining in one of his many daily press releases, quote, I could not bear to watch as he continued to cross the clearly defined boundaries of the constitutional separation of powers. Congressman said, President Obama has openly vowed to break his oath of office and begin enacting his own brand of law through executive decree. This is a wholesale violation of his oath of office and a disqualifying offense. Issuing executive orders is a disqualifying offense. Uh, there were also these tweets from Can Kansas Congressman, my new friend Tim Hulskamp, uh, during the speech. The new imperial presidency, Obama will do everything without legislation to advance his radical agenda. This one too, imperium. Wherever and whenever I can act without constraints, I will. Hashtag lawless. And then there was the gold medalist in the Tweet the Looniest Thing Possible contest last night, Congressman Randy Weber from Texas, who, we checked, is an actual congressman and who has not complained recently that his Twitter account has been hacked. Last night for the State of the Union, Congressman Weber wrote this. Yes, it's real. On floor of house, waiting on commandant in chef. I'm chief? I don't know. The socialist dictator who's been feeding U.S. a line, or is it a lying? There it is in all of its linguistically incongruous glory. The commandant in chef. The easily rattled edges of the Republican conference were very upset about President Obama announcing last night that he would use an executive order on the issue of the minimum wage for federal contractors. But it wasn't just upset at the edges. Consider also Arizona Senator John McCain, the Republican nominee for president in 08. At various points in his life, he has been known to have been a supporter of various practical things, like, for example, immigration reform. But as mainstream as you get, as a Republican, John McCain is now doing it too. He has signed on with congressional Republicans who are taking President Obama to court over his hugely excessive use of executive orders. John McCain says, we haven't got many more options except telling the American people that we're seeing an abuse of the intent of the Constitution. If you listen to Republicans right now, the Constitution never intended for this massive abuse of executive orders we're seeing from President Obama. It's time to sue this president. It's time to call him the commandant in chef. President Obama's abuse of executive orders is unprecedented. Okay, you ready? This is a chart of how frequently presidents have used executive orders over the last 115 years. Some presidents were only there for four years or less. Some were there for eight years. FDR was there forever. Uh, but this chart shows, on average, over the course of a presidency, how many executive orders did each president issue? They are ranked from most executive orders to least executive orders. Over there on the most side, on the left, you see FDR. Uh, you see Herbert Hoover, Wilson, right? Over there on the far right, the president who has issued fewer executive orders per year than any president in the last 115 years, that is a president named Barack Obama. Fewer than both Bushes, fewer than Reagan, fewer than Clinton, fewer than Eisenhower, fewer than anybody. Barack Obama, or if you prefer, the commandant in chef. We've posted that chart on our website in case you want to print it out and mail it to your local insane right-wing talk radio hosts because it will make them lose their minds further.